this one, this. So we're all familiar with Area 51, how it's said to have UFOs there, alien things there, even alien bodies from the Roswell, New Mexico UFO crash. This is a story about Area 51 that will give you nightmares. This young woman right here's name is Abigail Weston, and she was turned into a human lab rat at Area 51. In the 1940s, the US Army wanted to make their soldiers more powerful, so they decided to start doing tests to see if they could develop immortality. They would do these tests at the US Air Force Base Area 51. They needed to find somebody to do these tests on though, and that's when a highly renowned scientist by the name of Albert Weston proposed that they use his daughter, Abigail Weston. They started doing different experiments on her and loading her up with different chemicals. She started a change in her physical appearance, her teeth grew really long, and she started getting really tall. Follow for part two. I think I got locked in the mall. I fell asleep on a bench and now everyone is gone. There is literally nobody here. I even tried all the doors. But they are all locked. Send help, send help, send help, pulls. What they look like under the mask, part one. So by now, everyone already knows who this family is and their story. But for those of you who don't know, basically Chris Watts killed his pregnant wife and his two daughters back in August of 2018. Then about two years later, Netflix released a documentary called American Murder, The Family Next Door. This documentary was all live footage and there were no reenactments. Within just a few days after Netflix releasing this film, social media was blowing up with all of the speculations on this one clip I'm about to show you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, pay close attention on the left-hand side by the green wall. Everyone was saying that that little girl that you saw was the ghost of one of his daughters. What's even creepier is what happened to Chris Watts shortly after he went to prison. Stay tuned for part two. Shortly after Chris Watts went to prison for the murder of his wife and two daughters, he started saying things that were just downright creepy. Chris Watts said that he was visited by his dead daughter in his jail cell and had a conversation with his dead wife on the phone. He then did begin to say that he never thought that he was possessed, but he did say the weeks adding up to the murder of his wife and his two daughters, he felt this very, very dark energy always surrounding him. Another clip I'm going to show you is police body camera footage where two police officers are in the Watts family home after the murders. Pay very close attention because the first few seconds of this clip is when both of the police officers hear a little girl laugh. Well, there's plenty of first Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go Even to this day, there's still reports of paranormal activity going on inside that house. Could it be the wife and two daughters? That's up to you to decide. Does this video really catch a glitch in the matrix? I want you to watch very closely and comment when you see it and if you think it's really a glitch. You've probably heard of the elevator game, and if you haven't, you gonna learn today. The elevator game is a very suspicious paranormal game, and some people think that it was even behind the death of Elisa Lamb, the girl who died at the Hotel Cecil. I'm gonna tell you how the elevator game works, but y'all already know the drill. Don't try this at home. So basically, you get into an elevator. You need to be in a building that has at least 10 floors. There's a specific order that you have to follow with the floor. This is the order right here. When you get to the fifth floor, you supposedly encounter a woman. If she tries talking to you, do not respond to her and don't look at her. After you see this woman on the fifth floor, press the button to the first floor. If the elevator takes you down to the first floor, then leave and don't look back. This means that you were let go safely from the game. If the elevator goes up instead of down, then that means that you've entered a different dimension. Things might look slightly different now because you're in a different dimension. And if you see the woman, do not talk to her. Don't even look at her. Part two, I'm going to talk about how to get back to the actual world from the different dimension.
If you see spilt milk on your car like this, get in your car, lock the doors, and drive to your local police station. Human will use this as a tactic to kidnap you. They want you to stand there and try to clean it off your car and then they'll grab you. I recently had a friend who went through this. She thankfully knew what to do and drove away. Please interact with this video somehow so this spreads onto other people's for you because this is a real thing that's going on. This happened here in Long Island and it's also happened in multiple other places like Gulf Shores, Alabama, Miami, and a lot of tourist areas. Spread the word, people. Follow for more content like this. I think I'm going to be talking about this a lot more on my channel. Also because the news won't pick up on this because it's tourist areas and that will deter people. So follow along. I'm going to give you guys the inside scoop. Can I show you a really creepy video? I literally screamed the first time I saw this video. So just uh, be careful, trigger warning, jump scare, all of that. I also found this one during my Twitch stream, um, and this one got me, okay? I'm just gonna show it to you. I will tell you this, pay attention to this corner, okay? Okay, here's the clip. <laughs> Did you catch it? No? I'll show you. I'll show you. Scary Things Kids Say Part 51 My 4-year-old niece once asked me, Do you know why babies can't talk? I answered, Because they haven't learned yet. She said, No, because they still know too much. Like, what? 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 One night, I heard my little sister crying in her sleep. She was five at the time. When I walked in and sat on her bed, she immediately stopped crying, sat in her bed, opened her eyes, and screamed, then fell back on her bed and slept. She remembers nothing. I was on a bus recently, and we stopped outside a walk-in clinic. A little girl in the seat in front of me turned to her dad and said, Death is the poor man's doctor. And that was that. Yeah, here are some great horror movies to watch on Netflix. Up first, we have Creep 1 and Creep 2. It's about a man who answers an online ad to film someone for a day. But it just gets creepier and creepier. I love both movies, but Creep 2 is my favorite. Up next, we have Before I Wake. It's about a couple who adopts a kid, and when he goes to sleep, his dreams come true. It's all beautiful, but his nightmares are terrifying. This one was a good film with a very interesting concept. Next, we have The Ritual. It's about four friends who try to save time by cutting through the forest, but someone or something is stalking them. This movie was crazy. And last but not least, we have Hush. It's about a deaf writer who lives in the woods and a masked man is trying to get her. The concept alone is terrifying. I love all Mike Flanagan movies. Fun fact, this is actually his wife. If you see this tree, you need to run and yell for help fast. This tree has the ability to kill you. It also has sharpie points on the tree, which is toxic. The tree has a fruit, what looks like watermelons. But don't be fooled. That fruit lookalike has the ability to blind you and kill you if you get too close. Make sure you share this with all your friends.